Hello, I'm Ian Wright, Manufacturing Editor for Engineering.com here in beautiful Quebec City. I'm attending the second annual Robotique User Conference, where the main event is something truly unique. Over 100 participants, representing 75 companies from 22 different countries, have come to make as many of these parts as they can in 24 hours. Each team is working with five Universal Robots UR5 Cobots, Robotique sensors and end effectors, and a new methodology called Lean Robotics, created by Robotique CEO Samuel Bouchard. And how are, how are things going for team number your, your team number two? Number two, yeah. So things are going well. You know, the application is so real. They've really thought it out so that we're not just doing canned things that are easy to do that they know are going to succeed like a piece of cake. We're doing what a customer would really struggle with in the field. So that's the kind of stuff that's hard to simulate and takes time. And so we're facing the same challenges here and the same stress. You know, I'm sweating here trying to get this done as if I was on site trying to program for a customer to make sure that their integration worked by the end of the day. I mean, it's robots, right? Who doesn't have fun with robot arms and cameras, rippers, all that kind of stuff? It's really cool. It's what a lot of us, you know, maybe went to school to do engineering for, to learn about. And now we're actually here applying it. It's an interesting challenge. It, uh, it's kind of different because you really need to get something, uh, you need to, to get work done. Uh, we are team number four. Uh, it's about a robotic cell that needs to assemble a, a pump. The screwing part is uh, the stage that takes longer, so we have two stages for screwing. Okay. One stage for disassembly and assembling, and, and the, the, this is mandatory, the, te the checking test, the right. test uh, of, the, of the pump. Yeah. You learn new, new tools that they are releasing uh, during this event, like skills. And, uh, and, uh, and also here in the check, we we get to use also insights. Uh, that, that's for uh, monitoring and uh, production. It is challenging. <laughs> yes. Um, the thing about robotics is really you're at the intersection of great ideas and real world issues. You know how sometimes you you slip on a banana peel or you go to pick something up and it slips out of your hand. These are things that you can't really program. And so that's what makes a challenge like this real world. It's where the rubber meets the road. Really. And uh, from what I hear, it uh, sounds like you guys in team number four are neck and neck right now. Is that? Uh, uh, I've heard rumors yeah, yeah. that it's a, it's a heated competition. But, I'm uh, very proud of the work we've done. You think uh, you're going to have uh, parts rolling off the line pretty soon? Uh, I think we're within minutes of having uh, our first parts rolling off the line. The competition was hard fought, with some teams working well into the night to try and get the most from their setup. In the end, one team emerged victorious. Team 4, aka the Latin Dream Team, produced 60 parts, 9 more than the second place Team 6. But this challenge was never about the race to victory. It's about bringing the robotics industry together to demonstrate what can be accomplished when you have the motivation and all the right tools in one place. The only lingering question is how Robotique will top this event at Ruck 2018.